everyone! My name is Jen Edwards and I'm an art therapist. I go to different places including the Madison Heights Active Adult Center where I lead an artist therapy class. I hope everyone is still hanging in there and doing good. Today I have a patriotic lantern project that you can do. It's using the decoupage technique. There will be lots of cutting and gluing, which is very calming for the mind and it reduces stress. For this project, you need a basic star outline. You can print it off your computer or just draw it freehand. Some Mod Podge or school glue. That's what I used on my sample and it created a kind of a frosted look which is nice but it also hid a little bit of the the white tissue paper so you might want to have extra white tissue paper if you use the glue. Okay. And you'll also need some paper clips or tape. You can use tape. Um, paintbrush or a sponge brush, a foam brush, um, some red, white, and blue tissue paper. You can also use scrap paper, magazines, or wrapping paper. Pencil. A glass jar or vase, um, electric tea light. I got mine from the dollar store and it's actually a kind of a yellowy color. Orangey color. But they they have white ones out there too, white light ones. And you could also use um like a white glow stick. Um and you need scissors and just some cardboard or newspaper to put underneath. I'll show you one way to do it that works for me, but feel free to tweak it and make it your own. And also keep in mind, this is about taking some time to relax and just enjoy the moment. So here we go. Okay, move some of these things. So first, you need your outline. And we're gonna just cut it out. And we're going to make a stencil out of it. It'll look something like that. It doesn't have to be exact. But having a stencil will make it easier to cut out all those tissue paper stars that we'll have. So there's my little stencil. Okay, next we're going to take the tissue paper sheets or your colored paper and we're going to stack them so that the white is on top. And I just have one sheet of each color that I already cut a little smaller because I really don't need a lot of tissue paper for this project. But it depends on how big your stencil is and how many stars you want. 
the sand pole has about 15 stars. But, but my jars and stars are a little small, so it makes a difference. Okay. So take your paper, and I'm going to fold it so that I can cut a bunch of stars at once. If it's easier for you to cut a few sheets at, or just like a few sheets at once, or if you have thicker paper, just skip this part. I'm going to fold it. Okay. And I'm just going to trace my star, my stencil, with a pencil. That's why I did the white paper on top, because then I can see my lines a little better. And I'm going to do two of them. So now I'm going to take the clips and I'm going to clip my tissue paper together basically so it doesn't move around while I'm cutting. It just stays put. And just start to cut on the line. It doesn't have to be just right, but it does help to kind of stay on the line. Take your time cutting them out. And you can always readjust your clips as you go. Just leave it like it is. It's holding together pretty good. Luckily, stars are mostly straight lines, so that makes it a little easier when you're using scissors. You could do any shape that you like. You could do circles. Okay, so here's my first little clump. I find that it's easier to have all the stars cut out before the next step. Even if you have extras. I hope that everyone is keeping busy. I know things are starting to get a little better. So, that's good. Alright, so I gotta be careful because I just took my clip away. <laughs> so I'm just holding it. Here we go. 
So I have all these stars. So I'm just going to kind of move everything else off to the side. And I just need tissue paper, my Podge, the jar, and a little brush. This is a glue brush. But you could use a paint brush. Just um, make sure you wash it in um, soapy water when you're done with the Mod Podge so that your brush stays good. Alright, so and we're just going to paint a little bit on there. It can be really any color. You don't have to have a pattern. And just lay your star right on top. And just kind of dab, lightly dab more Mod Podge on there. And you can smooth it out with your brush too. And just repeat this process. I'm going to stay in the middle area. I'm not going to do the rim, this part. And you might need more Mod Podge if your paper is a little thicker. Just so you know. So it's kind of a, it's an experiment. It takes time to figure out what you're doing. So I'm putting a red one this time. And you can overlap them and make different, different effects. Just keep on going. It's a little messy right now, but when it dries, it dries clear. That's the good thing about Mod Podge. And I'm putting the white on top. Sometimes when you're doing tissue paper um, collage, sometimes if you put the light lighter color on top, you can see them better. They stand out more. The only problem with tissue paper, it's very fragile. So you just kind of dab it. So that and if it does rip like mine just did, I just kind of pieced it back together and dabbed it. So it's okay. And of course you can always go back to an area that you already did. Even if it dried, you could add more to it. With Mod Podge, you can just keep adding more and more layers. Right here. Okay. And I'm just overlapping. I'm overlapping the other stars. Alright. You can keep smoothing it out too. Because sometimes tissue paper gets a little wrinkly. And I'm not going to do the bottom. I'm just going to go up to this little curve here. And of course everybody's jar will be different. Everybody's stars will be different. Everybody's tissue paper will be different, so it's all good. Alright, and you can always do one more coat on top of everything just to kind of give it a finishing touch. You can see it's already starting to go a little clear. 
The more it dries, the more clear it gets. Yeah, my Mod Podge is a lot of fun. Okay, so you can let it dry for, you could let it dry overnight or just till it's not tacky to the touch anymore. And then you just take your tea light and put it in there. Um, I don't recommend using a real tea light though because um, if you got some Mod Podge on the inside it could melt and burn so better safe than sorry. Well I hope you enjoy this project and feel a little bit more relaxed. Um, thank you for watching, and till we meet next time, stay safe and be happy.